Hello everybody, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. Follow all of my social media, and also, here's my merch. Go check it out. I'll put the link to it down below. It is another Ipsy video where I review my Ipsy Plus bag. This is gonna be late, but no, it's not because I'm lazy, okay, like last time. This is because Ipsy kind of screwed up and only gave me four of my products instead of five. Um, I've been getting them for a really long time, so I'm gonna try not to hate too hard, uh, but that definitely threw me off. They've never messed up before, and they sent it to me anyways, and I just got it. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what the little bag looks like. We have some ladies on here. Check them out, looking cool as hell. Mark 2021 stronger together and red lipstick and a cat eye some things just are better together celebrate the people and products that make you look and feel your best get into this month's theme okay whatever okay uh what's your power color discover the mood boosting effects of these hues and amp up your look okay well um spoiler alert today we're doing a purple type of look so we're gonna we'll look at violet then magical open-minded imaginative how to wear it sweep an icy lavender highlighter over cheekbones for an otherworldly effect well we actually are going to do that today so my first product Product that I got today is the One Kind Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer with squalene. I just love the word squalene. Squalene and rosehip oil. Intense hydration and antioxidant rich nutrients for glowing skin in the AM. P.S. It feels like a dream. I get, I get what they were saying with that. So, okay, apply nightly to clean, dry skin. Use with Midnight Magic PM Serum. Yeah, I don't got that. Um, I guess it's in the PM, you know? I mean, I don't go to bed until the AM. Oh wait, it says for the AM. I fall asleep usually at four in the morning, but it's fine. It is 7.40. So let's try this. We're just gonna put this on before I do my makeup because I usually am a dry little bitch anyways. So we're gonna do like a little, let's say a little dime size amount, a little dime. Ooh, it's a little thick, a little on the thick side. It smells like the first thing that came to mind was Play-Doh, you know, but that's not a good way to, it smells a little bit like clay-y, like I feel like I'm in art class, bro. <laughs> Whatever, make sure you get your neck too, people, because you don't want to have some nice soft face skin and then got a saggy ass neck, like who wants that? This feels really nice. I don't know about you guys, but I get really dry around my nose, um, but it's hard to put lotion around my nose because I've got a ton of shit here. I have pretty combination skin. Like during the summertime, I'm an oily, greasy ball. And then the winter time, I am a dry little stink. Okay, so we don't have a new product for until I put on my eyebrows. I'm gonna put on my primer, foundation, concealer, cream contour, and powder and then I'll come back when I have to put on my little browsies. Now that I've made myself look like a piece of paper successfully, I have a set of five brushes. These are the ones that did not show up <laughs> in my first Ipsy package, but they later sent to me when I said I didn't get it. So these are MOTD Cosmetics, um, and they are eyeshadow brushes, and they also have a, an eyebrow brush in here. So let me open it. So the first one we're gonna be using is the straight to the point. I suppose this could also be used as an eyeliner brush, but I don't use brushes when I use my eyeliner. I have little pens that I use, so we're gonna use this as an eyebrow brush. And then we also have the sultry smudge brush, which is kind of just a flat brush, which I actually might use to apply like if I was putting like glitter on the lid or something, but that's just personally what I would do. And then we have the no fudge just smudge brush. They're getting a little goofy with these names, dare I say. So this is a little flat skinny brush, but this is actually, I would probably use this for uh, putting highlighter in my inner eye corner or like putting eyeshadow on my waterline. Uh, this is the pencil me in brush. So this is pretty stiff. I would probably use this for smudging something actually under my eye. I'm using these for all different purposes. I'm just not even listening to them, like not even a little bit. And then we have the masterpiece crease brush which is exactly what i would use it for a little crease crease brush crease brush crease brush 
So first we're gonna use the straight to the point brush and try to put on my eyebrows, which my Anastasia brush that I use, I hold very near and dear to my heart when I'm putting on my Anastasia dip brow. But you know, we're gonna try to switch things up and be exciting here, even though I'm a little scared because I mean, I really like only know how to use that brush, but we're gonna try it and see how it works. Maybe it'll be absolutely beautiful. Don't knock it till you try it. So we're gonna pick some of that up on my brush I'm scared bro when, it, when you fuck up your eyebrows like it's over you know what I mean like there's no coming back from that so I'm gonna really just take my time here it doesn't look bad it looks pretty good it's nice and thin and precise you know what I mean so it's making my life a little bit easier all right we're gonna do the other eyebrow I like to go back and forth between my eyebrows just to make sure they stay symmetrical because sometimes when you finish up a whole other eyebrow and then you try to copy it exactly, it gets a little on the uh, freaky side when you try to do that. It's okay, like I said, it's a little, like this part is thin, you know, but the actual brush itself is a little wide. So it's making it a little hard to make this like super, like to really get into small crevices, you know what I mean, bro? I know you probably don't, but it's fine. Just say you know what you mean. You know what I mean. Where am I? It's actually a lot better than I thought they would turn out like. But it's it's good. It would be good for an eye eyeliner brush, I feel like. It would be a little better for that. But it's also, like, not bad as an eyebrow brush. You know, like, if you needed one, bro, you could use this. Next, we have to do my eyeshadow and whoop de doo bro we got four other brushes to use and i'm probably gonna have to get a bigger blendy brush because they don't have one i am going to use an eyeshadow palette that i know works well for me i'm gonna be using the uh what, what's this palette called the bloodlust palette by jeffree star so we're gonna use this because i have another eyeshadow i got from ipsy that i'm not gonna use quite yet and it's kind of has a purple tint to it so i was gonna use his purple palette they don't have like a big blendy brush in those brushes i got so i'm gonna use the uh js8 brush this big fluffy dude and i'm gonna put in uh kind of like a mixture of deviant and vivid mood into my crease kind of as like a transition shade you know so we're gonna get deviant a little bit okay and we're gonna just <sighs> that's my bad first we gotta scotch tape my eyes i always put the tape on my hand first just to make it a little less tacky um because if you put straight scotch tape on your eyes right off the roll. Uh, it will tear up under your eyes, man, and that's not good. You don't want that. Okay, we taped up my eyes, everyone. I'm sorry. That was a freshman move of me, really freshman of me to do that. Anyways, that's what I was saying. We're gonna get deviant on here. Just kind of make it like a transition color, you know? It's just a nice light purple just to kind of make all the colors melt in together when they're all on here. Okay, so we just want it to be like a very light purple, like a very light purple. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of vivid mood and maybe we can get some high king in there too. And just fucking get that nice and in there and really just smoke her out like a cute little queen she is. Okay, so after we get that in there, um, we're gonna get this new brush, the Masterpiece Crease one. We're gonna get the color Blood Queen and get it on here. And let's try like smudging this like into my outer V slash crease. This is nice. This is a nice brush. I really like this. It seems to be working out pretty dang well for me. All right, so now we have some other brushes to try. And I actually want to use this new eyeshadow with that flat brush that I talked about earlier. So this one, the um, Sultry Smudge, which we're not going to use it for that. And I'm sorry, but that's just not what I envisioned. So we have this liquid eyeshadow and it's called, oh, it's from from Ciate, great brand, love y'all. Um, the Eye Lust, Lustry, I'm so sorry. Cream Eyeshadow Color Shifting Pigments. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's lightweight and fallout free. Great, so let's try it. So when I looked at this, it was kind of like a, I don't know if you can see, but like a lavender purple-esque kind of color. We're gonna grab this mirror and we're gonna dab this on my eyelid and then use that brush 
to kind of like pat it all over the place. This is what the wand looks like, a nice little flat one. And we're gonna put this like just a little bit on my lid and then take this flat brush and dab this all over the dang place and kind of like blend it out a little bit. This is really pretty. Why'd I say it like that? This is really pretty. I'm gonna try picking this up on the brush and then dabbing it. Really just tuck it up in there. I just, ooh, okay, sorry. You have to like let the light hit it. When the light hits it in a different way, it turns into kind of like a, uh, dare I say like, gold no i really like this bro that looks so cute oh i'm sorry no this shit's pretty as all damn hell bro all right well i have some other eyeshadow brushes that i still need to use so i'm gonna put on my eyeliner then i will be back to continue this fun journey with you. Something I would like to say is as much as I love that glitter eyeshadow and it said it wasn't gonna have any fallout, there's a little bit of fallout. And we all know how I feel about fallout. If you looked at my one Ipsy video that I don't remember which month it was, but fallout bothers me um, because I like it when I look like all snatched, but sometimes it like, breaks with my flow a little bit, you know? So, okay, so now we're gonna take the no fudge, just smudge brush that I got, um, and we're gonna take, what color was that? We're gonna take Blood Queen, which is this dark purple right here. We're gonna pick this up on the brush and smudge this into my waterline. Oh wow, this brush is nice. I might use this as my new waterline brush. Oh, the art of putting eyeshadow on your waterline when it most definitely can't be good for your eye. Like this can't be good. But I do it anyways, cause it's a freaking look. Going blind is a look, bro, it's a vibe. And this is a great brush for doing that. Let me look up close with the mirror. Yeah, that was amazing. Some brushes, like, it really will just, like, stick to the brush and not stick to your waterline, and it's frustrating, but it did it, so we're great. And now we're gonna take Little Miss Pencil Me In brush, and we're gonna pick up these three colors deviant high king and vivid mood we're gonna start with high king with a mixture of vivid mood and we're gonna blend this under my eye a little bit you know which side we're gonna start with this one that looks cute so after we successfully get these two colors under my eye we're gonna pick up the lighter one and smudge that further down to like make it smoked out you know <gasps> i literally stuck it in my eye dog why maddie you just relax and now my nose is dripping because when my eyes go off my nose goes with it girl that's how it works cute i need a tissue <laughs> okay now we're gonna take deviant uh, the light color blend that a little bit under those darker colors just to really smoke it out you know bro wow we love a little glowy queen who can't see all right i'm gonna do some other shit with my face i don't know what but i'm going to do that and i will come back when we have a new product which i'll make i'll leave it as a surprise okay let's do that a little surprise. Now that I did all that and I cleaned off all of my big dang jewelry so it didn't look all gunky and makeup and gross, we have our next two products which we're gonna make them go hand in hand because they're not the same thing but pretty close. So first we have the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia. What color? It's in medium brown. Um, I'm a blonde but I mean medium brown's fine too. So I'm pretty happy about this because I mean as you guys may already know I use the dip brow pomade so i'm pretty hype about this exactly what you think it is a brow gel but then what i'm really excited about is we have this house is that how that would be pronounced we have this house laboratories so this is a brow and lash sparkle topper so we have to shake well before you so pretty much this gives a little sparkle to your lashes and eyebrows wow this looks cool wait i've heard of this brand before oh is this the lady gaga stuff so i I figured what the best course that, that I should take. Put on the brow gel, and I don't wanna put this glitter topper on my lashes, so I figured I could put the glitter topper on my bottom lashes. Dude, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna try it. So first, we're gonna do the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, so that can dry a little bit before we put this on. Brush this through. I've used this, oh God, it's been so long, but I have used this before, and it's great. I love the Anastasia eyebrow products, so we're just gonna throw this on. On. It made my eyebrows a little darker, but that's okay because you know, we love a little dark moment. While that's chilling, we're gonna take this 
it says to shake before use, but like it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. So we're gonna try putting this on my bottom lashes and I'm super excited, dude. So what color is it? Oh, it's still black, but it has glitter in it. So that, so it's a mascara, oh no, it's, we're gonna break out the iPhone flashlight for this because I feel like it's not showing up. Okay, so yeah, it's like black mixed with like purple flicks and flex, flex? flex so that's cool um <laughs> so we're gonna put this on my bottom lashes and see if it shows up at all put this on right here i can see a little bit of it we're gonna put the flashlight on my face after so we can really see if it's showing up and then we'll also put it on my eyebrows so i could definitely see it a little bit it's really hard to tell so i'm hoping it's gonna show up more on my eyebrows which we're gonna try now it's kind of black so like i don't want it to darken up my eyebrows too much but let's just see well there it is now it's showing up okay that looks kind of cool though it's also darkening up my brows a lot but i think if you want to go for like a really dark like intense look this would be cool as all freaking hell dude dude my eyebrows are gonna stay in place all night i have like two layers of brow gel on let me try putting the flashlight on my face oh okay that's cool i could definitely see it in my eyebrows like pretty much non-existent my bottom lashes i feel like if i did it on my top lashes it would be a lot more noticeable okay so let's just take a little bit of my tarte stay spray and then we'll give my final thoughts so what did we use first? We used the lotion first and I like it so far. Uh, I guess we'll see if my face gets dry or flaky by the end of the night, but it didn't make my makeup look greasy at all. It looks pretty good. Um, it's apparently something you wear all night. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, try to put more on maybe tonight after I take off my makeup, but it, I like how it made my makeup look because I get really crusty really easily when I put on a lot of makeup and with how my skin is. So let's talk about the brushes a little bit. Okay. So we'll go through each of them separately instead of all of them as a monolith because I have different feelings about all of them. The crease brush was great. I really liked it a lot. This was the smudging brush. This was really good too. I would probably prefer a little bit of a bigger smudging brush for under my eyes just to really smoke it out more. But if you want to do something low key, it's pretty good. Um, I liked this flat brush for applying stuff onto my lid. Um, same thing as the other one. If it was a little longer, that would be cool, but it's actually not that bad. I, I really like this one too. Now the eyebrow brush, I know this is maybe not meant for eyebrows. It might also just be meant for eyeliner. I used it for my eyebrows just because I don't use a brush like this at all, except for when I'm doing my eyebrows. It was okay. It's a little too like wide, you know, I wish it was a little bit thinner, but like the width of it, like the actual, like how thin the brush gets when there's product on it, it gets pretty thin. So it's very nice and precise, but I wish it wasn't as like wide, you know, it's like a little too on the thin size i don't know if i'll ever really use this but you know if you use your if you do your eyeliner with like a brush like this maybe give it a little trizzle try and then my favorite one was the brush that is called the no fudge just smudge one but i used it for my waterline and i just like it because it didn't like hold on to the product like crazy it transferred it really nicely onto my waterline i just realized i was leaning back did that just make me blurry as hell Sorry if I was out of focus. Um, so yeah, this was really nice for my waterline. So the brushes were all for the most part pretty good. Okay, so the liquid eyeshadow. So it isn't really doing it anymore, but as it dried and as I like blinked my eyes or something, it made it fall out on my like right here a little bit. It doesn't, it's not doing it anymore. So I guess it's not that big of a complaint, but it definitely was falling out a little bit when I first used it. But it's actually really great. Uh, I love how it looks. It looks super pretty and I'm just like, damn mommy, like, okay. Yeah, really cool. I like this. Okay, so the dip brow eyebrow gel, great. I love Anastasia eyebrow stuff. I wish they got me a lighter color. I'm pretty sure I have my hair set to as blonde on Ipsy, but you know what, it's okay. I kind of like don't mind like the darkening up of my eyebrows and the majority of the darkening up came from that glitter topper. This wasn't really that intense, but no, I've used this in the past. It's a great eyebrow gel. So the house glitter topper, I wanted this to be a little more intense. It seemed like it was just a mascara that had a little bit of purple glitter in it. But with that being said I still really like how it made my eyebrows look especially if I was in a certain light because like to be honest you can't really see it in this light too well probably not even at all on camera and based off of putting it on my bottom lashes I couldn't see it at all on there maybe if I put it on my top lashes but you know if I could give this a rating I would give it like a 7 out of 10 I kind of want a little more from her but like she served still a little bit and I ate 
you know? So I think that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. And yeah, I will see you guys next week with another one. Bye, guys.